Hey YouTube, this is Justin the Snap on Junkie. Uh, today I'm going to make this video. Uh, so this weekend, um, I got a pretty big project here coming to the shop uh, that I'm going to share with you guys. Uh, we are going to be rebuilding a uh, basically a C15 Caterpillar in a uh, long nose 379 Peterbilt. Um, what I know about it is is that uh, it blew a head gasket and uh, it's leaking at a head gasket pretty bad, so uh, the guy wants us to take the head off and look at it. I think we're gonna end up putting liners and pistons in it. Uh, that's just my opinion, but what it is, and so uh, it's pretty hectic, and to work on a cat, it takes some specialty stuff. So I thought I'd like to show you what my Snap-on stuff that I have that is specially for a big leader cat, and kind of just explain some of the tools that we're going to be using along with other tools that I have, you know, like the normal sockets and stuff like that. But this is kind of the specialty stuff you need to take it apart. So I thought I'd just shoot a video because I may forget when we're taking this engine apart. So I hope you guys like this little thing. It's probably going to be two parts, like one of us tearing it down, and then we'll show you where it's leaking from and all that stuff. And then one of uh, me and my uh, mechanic buddy Jim um, putting this thing back together. So I thought I'd just share some of the specialty stuff with you, so let's get into that. Okay guys, so here is some of the tools that I have laid out uh, that we're going to need uh, to take this Caterpillar apart and put it back together. Uh, I'm going to kind of show you just kind of what you need. This is more specialty stuff for cat stuff. But most of the stuff is generic here, like the torque wrenches and the impact. But I'm just showing it to you uh, to kind of show you what we're kind of going to be using. So uh, the first thing on here is you're going to need a three-quarter inch um, air impact. Uh, that's just to get the head bolts off and all that stuff. Um, just because it weigh, you know, the bolts are torqued down pretty heavily. Okay. Then moving on to like putting it back together. You're gonna to need a three-quarter inch torque wrench Okay, you're gonna need a half inch torque wrench and you're gonna need a three-eighths torque wrench Okay, so that's like putting the stuff back together, you know all that stuff. So uh, One of the specialty tools you're gonna to need is this is an engine turning tool now. This is the cat one um, this goes into the side of the thing. It goes on the flywheel and this is how you rotate your motor over like if you had to get the pistons out or anything like that. It just makes it a lot easier uh, because on like big trucks they don't uh, give you like a crank bolt in front or whatever and you really can't turn it over with the fan. It's a pain in the ass. So this is a cat turning tool. Uh, this is definitely something you're going to need if you do uh, a lot of uh, you work on big diesel trucks. So there's that now this little socket right here Okay, if you can see that Okay, this is a five inch pipe plug. Okay, and the part number on that is s h R 20 okay, and this is just a 5 8 plug and what this does is this takes out a plug that's in the cylinder head somewhere um and probably what it is is when you get a reman head this plugs not in there so you're going to need that tool okay now this is just a regular half inch plug uh this is how you would open up your uh you know you would open up your oil drain or whatever because they use a different internal broach system and this is half inch pipe so the part number on that is ppm5 one six a here okay now another specialty socket that you need is this 11 16 uh, socket you can see it's an impact here now what makes this different than any other 11 16 is the length and how it is broached inside this hole here okay and this I believe takes off something in the overhead I'm not sure I just know that uh, it was on the cat list when I asked uh, my snap-on guy about it, so I got it. Uh, the number is S62220. Okay. Now, this socket is 
a three quarter inch impact socket again, but it's three quarter inch drive 12 point. And how this is turned down on the outside, how it's necked down here, a regular three quarter inch socket would be a lot thicker. But this is how you get the head bolts off. Okay, this is just kind of a specialized thing that they make for, for just Caterpillars. Cummins ISX has one too, and I have that one too. So that part number is IMF DL242. Okay, so this socket is another socket that you're going to need uh, when you work on Caterpillar stuff. And then this final tool here, uh, this is what you call an injector height tool. Now this is more important when you go, when you put the engine back together and kind of how you run your overhead. Um, this is how you set your injector depth or kind of like your uh, lash on your camshaft. This sits on there and then you have a measurement uh, somewhere and it goes back together. I really don't know how to do this yet. I've seen it done. But uh, I learn a lot better from doing it, so we're going to go through this together. So that's just some of the specialty stuff you need for cats and uh, working on cat engines. So uh, I hope you guys like this adventure that we're going to go on starting this weekend. Alrighty guys, well after I just showed you the tools here, um, I really hope that you guys check out this little you know, two part series that I'm probably going to be doing. Uh, that we will be doing about rebuilding this cat engine. Um, I thought I'd like to, you know, share this with you just to, you know, show you guys that I can work on stuff and uh, really just to demonstrate on how to put a cat motor back together and understand some of the specialty tools that you need uh, for you young techs out there or anybody else that would like to tackle this project. Uh, this is a pretty big project. I'm pretty excited about it um, because I want to learn how to do this. You know, like always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. And uh, I've been talking to some other YouTubers, and they seem to be getting free stuff sent to them by subscribers. I haven't got anything free yet. You know, I'm not asking for anything free, but, you know, it would be nice, you know what I'm saying, to, uh, you know, have a viewer send me something or whatever. Uh, that would be pretty cool. I'm going to leave the, you know, I'm going to leave uh, my email in the bottom of this so you guys can get a hold of me. I'll give you my home address and stuff like that. And you can tell I got my new Snap-on zipped hoodie on that I absolutely love. So if you guys like these uh, type of videos, just give me the thumbs up. That really helps. Uh, just sh shows me that you guys like this channel. So, so if there's any companies out there that would like the Snap-on Junkie to review something uh, or whatever, uh, actually Jay Young is send me going to send me some of that hand cleaner. Uh, that he got to review on his channel and uh, I'm gonna try that stuff out and uh, give you my thoughts on it, too um, Also, like, yeah, like if there's any other companies out there that would like me to review stuff just you know uh, What you can do is I'm gonna leave a email link uh, To my email in the description of this video and we will review stuff uh, That you guys send me or if anybody else has go check out uh, the snap on junkie.com um, I got tool I got uh, stickers for your toolbox, and I have sweatshirts coming uh, that are pretty sweet, man. When they they get done, they look really nice. Uh, they finally got them correct today, uh, so they'll, hopefully I'll get those tomorrow, and I'll do a video about those. And also, uh, there is something special coming to my house tomorrow from Snap On. It's going to be like uh, my new toolbox preview. It's kind of like what color it is and uh, this little thing, so I'll be sharing that tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching for today.